about this show is I'm not playing a character. I'm playing a real man. I'm playing a person that lived and died, that had problems, that had struggles, that went through a lot of the same things that I have. You know what I mean? And it's just like, and I, I come from a similar background in these ways, and I've lost friends and family to all of these different systems that have set us up to literally fail and kill us and destroy us, and they always have. And I, who would I be to you know, like ignore that? You know what I mean? How could I ignore that when I'm seeing little kids look like just like me getting shot in the streets by the people that's supposed to be protecting them right now? So it's always been a heavy place in my heart for these issues and a number of different issues as uh, just human issues issues as well. But like um, to do this show in particular, I have to dig into that. I have to tap into that. And if I'm not about it in my real life, what am I saying on stage? You know what I mean? And even before this happened, um, before I started doing this, I was already sort of really trying to figure out who I am as an activist, uh, what I have to be about and stand for, because I think that's the part of my life that will outlast my dancing. When I can't do no more splits, I can still march in them streets. You know what I mean? Like, what am I going to do, actually? And I think that I want that to be my life's work beyond the work that I've done on stage. Uh, people, that, people that I look up to, like Harry Belafonte and uh, even Muhammad Ali and stuff like that, like, what they did outside of their craft is really who made them who they are, and that's what I strive to be. Um, so again, it's something that I, every day I, I am on my news, you know what I mean? I'm on the news that is social media as well, because we have to know all sides of the story right now in order to, I feel, know my place, know, have opinions, but also just be ready to have these conversations uh, to, I think, better help us all. So uh, there's a number of different things, like the ACLU, like there's another organization that's great called 100 Suits that deals with helping men that have been incarcerated uh, reinstate them into society, we help them get jobs, help them just even wear a suit to a job, you know what I mean? Things like that, like there's an organization called Help Not Handcuffs that again is about like uh, community policing and just, and there's a number of different things and um, that I'm looking to be even more active in. I just started my own scholarship fund, me and my sister to, um, she came from the same school as I did and she's actually on tour with the Lion King right now. She's an amazing, amazing performer. And just the fact that we made it out uh, at, by coming up to New York and giving what we love a try, we want to sponsor a young black boy and a young black girl from our high school to come and do the same thing that's looking to do so in their senior year. So, you know, just things that I have to find out how I can give back, how you pay it forward. Um, and then I think when it's all said and done and I'm laying in my casket, I'll be happy too, you know? Yeah. Well, I think when you give back, you continue to rise, right? Absolutely. I mean, because you have that community supporting you, you're giving back. That's the only way it works. So. Absolutely. It's amazing to see you have this platform and for that to be a focus of yours, for sure. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. Now's the time. Yeah, As we is. all know, now, if, if there's never been a time, now's the time for us to figure out how the hell we need to come together and uh, fix some shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. if I don't know if I'm allowed to curse on you here. You can say shit. Okay. We're going to fix some shit, y'all. <laughs> Um, cause I'm tired of it. We're tired of it. We, we're so much better than that. And I believe in this generation, uh, I think we can do some things that our parents' generation couldn't do. And I believe in the generation below us. What is it? Gen Z or whatever that is. They're brilliant. They're strong. The March for Our Lives crew, man, those kids are, I mean, they're ferocious. And I think if we continue to put the focus on things like that, as well as, I think if we do it by doing what it is that we are great at, uh, that's how the change will happen the fastest. Yeah.